welcome to the django series this video is very important because i will discuss how to write the business logic for web application we know that the business logic is written under the view.py file so in the view.py file there are two type of views the first one is a function based view the function based view is similar to the function it takes web request and return the response whenever it return the response it can be html file it can be image it can be a web page content it can be error class or any other thing that is been written from the function the second type of view is a class based view now using class we can design the views we'll discuss the class based view in the successive video now i'll explain the process how to write the view in a django project so first of all i don't down the steps the first step is we need to create the project once you create the project then you need to create the application so already we create the project software professional and we create the three application holder tester and a manager once we create the application the next step is install that application so we already install the application under the setting.py file so next step once we install the application now we need to modify our view.py file and for this discussion we'll use the function based view so now we'll discuss how to write the function based view so under the project you can find different type of application so here i am going to explore my one of the application that is coder so under the coder application we can write a business logic in a view.py file so open that view.py file under the view.py we can write the functions so to write a function that is a keyword for the function and then we can write a function for example i write a function i am a junior coder each function text one parameter that is a request the function will return either http response or it render the web page so here i'm going to return the http response so http response we need to import into this file first so first of all we import the http response so we need to write from django dot http import http response so that it will return the http response so that response is let's say i am junior coder this is one of the function that we write under the view.py file so once i write this view we can render this view through the url.py so that url.py is in the project folder so i just minimize this application and open the project folder under the project folder url.py is there so to redirect to the specific view so we need to modify this file first of all so first i need to import the views from that coder application so we need to write from name of the application coder and i am going to import views on that coder app then we need to add the path path and it will redirect to the particular view so let it be i right here j coder that is the junior coder and then we'll write views dot name of the function so name of the function is junior coder so this particular path i am going to pass after that we need to run the project to check whether that particular view is being send the http response to this url so here i am going to execute the project python manage.py run server so it will generate one url if it work fine okay if it work fine then we need to copy this url and paste into the browser once we copy the url paste it into the browser then it will display these two paths so i am going to redirect this j coder so i just type j coder and it will display that i am a junior coder so the same string is available under the view function if i go to the view function you can find this particular message is there i am a junior coder the same message is in the output of web browser I hope you understand that how to write the view and how it process through this url so now i'll stop the execution of project i'll create one more view to understand process very clearly so i'll write one more function let's say now i am a senior coder name of the function is senior coder 
we require one parameter is a request to the function and then it will return HTTP response so that HTTP response is let's say I am linear coder okay. so this particular function will just return the message I am a senior coder now we'll add a URL under that project folder so go to the project folder go to the url.py now we'll add one more path to this url pattern so now we'll add next path that is a junior senior coder so i'm just writing the name s coder that is the senior coder and under that we need to write views views dot name of the view so function name is senior coder so that i'm going to pass under the URL pattern and then I'll again execute the project by using the command python manage.py run server if it works fine then we we'll get an URL so just go to the browser and paste that URL we'll find that three patterns are there so now I want to execute S coder so just I hit S coder so that I'll get the message I am a senior coder if I here write J coder so that I'll get the message I am a junior coder so likewise we can shift to the one view to the other view so that URL pattern so I'll again go to the project start the execution so this way we can write the multiple view for the single application so we'll write the multiple view in a single application hope you understand the process that how to write a view and how to process that view to the UR. In the next video, we'll discuss multiple application with multiple view function. Thanks for watching this video.